An intriguing implementation problem that emerged from the study on the national implementations of Article 17 of the DSM Directive concerns Article 17's effects on copyright owners' exclusive reproduction rights. The Irish implementation puts this into stark relief. Now, this is a particularly tricky issue. If we look at the Irish implementation, we can see that it follows the same structure as paragraph 1 of Article 17. So section 19.1 of the EU Copyright and Related Rights in the Digital Single Market Regulations of 2021 starts by stating that OCSSPs perform acts of communication to the public or making available to the public. And paragraph 2 then states that they must therefore obtain authorization from the right holders that are referred in section uh, referred to in sections 37 and 40 of the Copyright and Related Rights Act of 2000. However, if we then examine those provisions, we can see that Section 37 of that Act lists all the exclusive rights which are recognised by Irish copyright law, including not only the right to make the work available to the public, but also the rights to reproduce and to adapt the work. So the text seems to state that authorization is also needed from the owners of the reproduction right. And this is important because as the Irish national expert points out in the national report on Ireland, the owners of the reproduction right and the right of making available to the public will not always coincide. If we then look at the Irish implementation of Article 17.4, it's completely regular. So Section 20 of the EU Copyright and Related Rights in the Digital Single Market Regulations of 2021 states that if no authorization is obtained, OCSSPs are only liable for unauthorized acts of communication to the public, provided the conditions of Article 17.4 are not met. Now, it's important to be clear that a number of, of interpretations are possible here. The most problematic of these interpretations would be that there is simply no way out of liability for infringement of the reproduction rights for OCSSPs. It could also be the case that without authorization by the holders of the reproduction right, OCSSPs will be liable for communication to the public, which is strange, but possible. And of course, it's also possible that the reference to the reproduction right is just a glitch that should be ignored in line with the more leasing principle. Now, that interpretation would be the most likely one, except for the fact that it's hard to say that OCSSPs perform acts of communication to the public without also copying the relevant works. So it is, in fact, very strange that Article 17 doesn't mention the reproduction right. Indeed, this is something which the European Commission does seem to have belatedly recognised in its guidance on Article 17. This guidance states that the acts of communication to the public and making uh, the content available to the public in Article 17.1 should be understood as also covering the reproductions necessary to carry out these acts. Now, member states should not provide, according to the guidance, for an obligation on OCSSPs to obtain authorization for reproductions that are carried out in the context of Article 17. But the guidance is non-binding. And also, from a certain perspective, it just confirms that acts of reproduction are inherent to acts of communication to the public.